Are we starting to see a pricing correction and are we headed for a crash? I think we can all agree the last couple of years the housing market has been very volatile, especially when it comes to pricing. So today I'm going to talk about the current housing market in the GTA and Mississauga. Are we seeing a pricing correction? And if so, are we headed for a crash? First, let's define what we mean by housing market correction. Simply put, a market correction is when there is a decline in the price of real estate after a period of rising prices. Unlike a crash, which involves a more dramatic drop, a correction is usually more moderate and could be around 5 or 10% reduction in property values. But with today's headlines about home prices, it is really tough to know what exactly is going on, especially if you are a buyer or a seller. So it is best to see what the experts are saying. Most experts are saying that the housing market is in a correction and not a crash. They're forecasting a moderation in home prices growth over the next few years and not a rapid increase. This is actually great news for buyers who have been priced out of the market and also for sellers to know that there still is a moderate price appreciation. A housing market correction is a normal part of the real estate cycle and it's not necessarily a bad thing as it can help prevent housing bubbles and make home ownership just more achievable. Now, keep in mind, in the last five years, we were like in the unicorn years of real estate. So adjusting to a normal part of the cycle is actually a good thing. If you're a home seller and buyer, it's important to stay well informed of the local market changes right now. At the time of making this video, we don't have that third interest cut yet this year from the Bank of Canada. So on my next video, I'm going to go over the August market stats and any changes with the latest data in the Mississauga market. So please feel free to hit the subscribe button and you'll be alerted as soon as I drop the next video. And I would love to provide you with the trends and the perspective to help you make a more informed decision. Are there opportunities right now that could impact your home search? So let's look at what recent data are showing us. As of today, the average home price in Mississauga is down by 1% from this time last year. There's a bigger drop in price for condos and townhouses, but detached house prices still is holding steady and new listings are up by about 18% year over year across the GTA and homes are sitting on the market a bit longer and sellers are getting fewer offers. Properties are probably staying in the market on average right now, 24 days, which is up from 17 days this time last year. The housing market has been shifting from a seller's market to a buyer's market and buyers are continuing to get more choice and benefit from more options right now in the GTA marketplace. Unsold inventory is at a three month supply. This is up from a two month supply a year ago. The last time we saw three months unsold inventory was probably like maybe a decade ago. So we're seeing the highest level of inventory in possibly 10 years. Even though we had two interest cuts so far this year, it's going to take more interest cuts and also more time to really see a shift in more buyers getting off the sidelines and more demand coming back into the market. This means that prices may not go up as much as we move into the fall market. Right now, buyers are negotiating on prices. They're putting on conditions like financing and inspection, and they don't have to waive these conditions in order to get their offer accepted. We're seeing two types of sellers right now in this market. The first group are sellers who really need to sell. They may have already moved out of their home or they cannot keep up with the mortgage payments due to higher interest rates. The second group of sellers who don't have to sell quickly, they have good equity in their home or they haven't bought another house yet, so they have more time on their side. These sellers tend to stick by their price longer or they may make small minor price reductions over a few weeks or even months. We are seeing homes sit on the market longer than they usually do this time of year. So that means there may be more price adjustments to move the inventory of homes currently for sale. This could be good news for buyers who have been struggling with affordability or outbidded, and now they can negotiate better terms, better prices. 
there are definitely good deals out there. For example, right now we're helping some of our clients to sell in Mississauga and helping them to buy outside of the GTA where house prices are lower and it's easier to negotiate. So if you're planning to downsize from a larger house to a smaller property, or you're moving to the outskirts of the GTA, now is really a good time to do it. And if you have been putting your dream on hold because you're waiting for prices to ease up more, now may be the chance to get into the market. We don't know how much longer this type of market is gonna last as more interest cuts are anticipated in the next few months. So don't run the risk of waiting too long because more buyers are gonna recognize this shift, get pre-approval, and then competition may come back again and grow again. So now that the summer is ending, and are we gonna see like cooler weather and cooler home prices? And what's ahead for prices as we move forward to the end of the year? So first, we need to realize there's so much information out there on this topic, and it's causing a lot of confusion for consumers and sellers. And here's what we do know. Affordability is still a challenge with buyers due to price and mortgage rates. Next week, we are expecting hopefully another interest cut on September 4th, and there could be another one in the end of October, maybe in December. I've put the three announcement dates in the description below of the Bank of Canada. My perspective is that it's going to be a busier market than normal this fall and coming winter season, especially coming out of a quiet spring and summer market this year. So stay tuned. I'm going to share more updates very soon. If you have any questions regarding the market to help you make the best decision, please feel free to reach out to me. I would be happy to help you look at the areas that you're interested in to explore for buying your next home. I'm truly grateful for you and I look forward to connecting with you.